Hello everyone in Sri Lanka and uh, all over the world. This is Cadaveria, singer of uh, Cadaveria Band. We are a heavy metal band based in Italy. I started very young by joke. I started writing some words that then became lyrics. Then I met a guitarist and a drummer. The drummer was Marcelo Santos, the one who is still playing with me in Cadaveria now. And we started playing something very similar to a mix of punk rock and heavy metal. The lyrics uh, were in Italian. Uh, so we have some fun, but uh, we didn't release um, anything officially. Then I entered Opera 9, a pagan metal band. I stayed with them 10 years, and then I quit to form my own band together with Marcelo Santos. So in 2001, we gave life to Cadaveria Band, and so... Um, yeah, basically here I am I feel myself more free to express myself as an artist. Um, we released uh, five full-length albums so far, one EP and a double DVD, and in these days we are releasing some new stuff in form of, uh, uh, in form of uh, digital singles. Well, there are two songs that are particularly meaningful to me. One is Elimination by Overkill, because it was probably one of the very first heavy metal songs I've ever heard. And the second one is um, Nothing for My Mom by Oli Moses. This is meaningful to me because Oli Moses has a female singer called uh, Sabina Klassen. And you know, when I started in the early 90s, there was no internet and uh, I have never heard uh, any other girl singing like me, screaming, uh, or, or a girl that could um, sing uh, in growl. And so um, I, I felt myself a, li a little bit alone, you know. And when I listened to Sabina Klassen, I knew I was not alone. And um, some, somehow she motivated me to go on and to take... Uh, uh, music, uh, heavy metal music and singing heavy metal more seriously in some way. Where we play a sort of mix of uh, classical heavy metal, black metal, mixed with death metal, and uh, gothic metal, some progressive metal, dark metal, uh, all this stuff mixed together. <laughs> I mean, um, we play something very personal, and I'm happy about this because I like to be different. And uh, yeah, we play um, something that uh, was also defined horror metal. Anyways, it means all and nothing. And so it, this uh, leaves us free to experiment and to play basically the music we like. And uh, for sure, it is something very personal and uh, unique.
Uh, well, since we are speaking about a unique sound, a unique sound, you know, can only born from the inside, not copying this band or the other. And uh, of course, every one of us has his own um, musical background. For example, Marcelo Santos is more oriented on trash metal, while I'm a fan of uh, progressive metal and uh, black metal. And uh, of course, these influences can uh, uh, play a role in uh, when, when we create music, but um, we don't uh, sit at the table and say, okay, we like this band, we want, we want to play like this. Everything is born uh, from inside, and uh, this is why it's so unique. In October 2012, we came back to music after a long break, during which uh, I had to treat myself, because in 2018 I discovered to have a breast cancer, and so we quit all the activities related to music uh, so that I could concentrate myself on my healing. Now we have a lot of new stuff um, ready to be recorded. We already recorded two songs, two new songs, and we released uh, them in the form of singles. And uh, the first one is entitled Return and was out in October, while in November we released the Matrioshkada in all digital platforms and also on YouTube, because for both of the singles we, we, did the, we, we made the, the music videos. And um, we will uh, enter recording studios again very soon to record new music, and we will release uh, every song once it is ready so that our fans can live with us the entire process of composition and uh, we will do like this uh, for all the, the songs we have, uh, we have already composed so basically there is no plan for a full length album at the moment we will release some singles in 2021 and then we will see what happens Uh, it depends. If you are well inspired, a song can be born in a few minutes or a few hours. Otherwise, you have to work on it for uh, days or months. In general, I think that each instrument uh, requests some, some time if you want to, to do things uh, well, properly. Uh, each uh, member of the band makes uh, his own uh, uh, work, but it is uh, Marcelo Santos and I that put all together uh, and do the pre-production, and I think uh, this is very, very time-consuming. The greatest one is to be completely satisfied about what we did so far, about our music, our records, our um, career, about the fact that we um, traveled a lot uh, through Italy, Europe and Central America to play live, and uh, also the fact to have uh, so many fans that uh, love uh, us so much and that uh, are following us since the beginning. And so. Thank you so much. Uh, you said five. Okay, speaking for me, I can say The Somber Lane by this section, Don't Break the Oath by Merciful Fate, um, Schizophrenia by Sepultura, Lateralus by Tool, and uh, 
let's say, symbolic by death. I was lucky enough to start singing in a period when uh, there was no internet and so I could not uh, go on Google and search for my name to check what people were thinking about me. And so I just uh, always follow my path and follow my passions that it is uh, what I'm still doing now. And uh, I can't say it was uh, easy or, or hard, just it was. I'm here and I continue to follow my passion with passion. Yes, in 2001 I entered the industrial metal project Dynabite and with them I released two albums. The last one is dated 2010, we never released uh, anything uh, else uh, after this one. I don't follow the scene so much, but Italy is really full of many, many talented metal bands. Hey guys, go and check LS Metal Freak YouTube channel for many interesting interviews and uh, go and check also Cadaveri Official YouTube channel for many many music videos to come. Oh yes, of course, why not? Just invite us. I would like to fly to Sri Lanka and visit your wonderful land and play for you. So see you and stay meta. Thank you so much for this interview.